Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're going to learn about how to replace smoke detector, and this smoke detector is simplex. It's for releasing panel. It's for the aerosol. Okay, and that is the generator, and this is actually a trench. Okay, there was water, and this detector is damaged. But I don't have a spray for this device. So what I have here is just Context Plus. Okay, I have Context Plus, and I'm going to replace this simplex with this Context Plus. And before we finish, you know how to just replace that. This is Context Plus. And this one is simplex I'm gonna remove so you're gonna see how it is okay so let's go for the review of it this is coming with uh, numbers number one number two number three and number four okay but here is the case this is different this is how this looks this looks the line in the line out the loop to and the remote indicator like that so it's quite different and yes we can do it so let's get to work so we just got to remove and we need to just remember where the devices are so basically if you are with us you will just know that these two cables one is for the in cable and one is for the remote indicator and this is for the out cables out cables and this one is going to be for the remote indicator minus and we are going to verify also as well so don't worry okay so let's get this previous out Somebody will ask, in case the cable mixes up, how will you know that this is the in cable and this is the out cable? Basically, if you want to find the in cable, you can check with your multimeter. And because the in cable is the out cable of the last device, you are going to get a 24 volt supply. Okay. Okay, so I will remove the remote indicator last cable here we are ah, they did some magic here and why they did this it's because it is down they kept this to avoid to avoid uh, ground fault because it was just done Show you, I want to show you the specification of this. This is actually made from USB. Okay, that is the model number. Simplex, okay. It's Simplex X 1199. Simplex for 11 equipment. So let's get back to work. Um, this is actually dirty. We just clean it a little bit. Okay. So we have a multimeter and we will want to check for the cable that is coming in. And I told you before that when you check the cable, so we are going to trace which cable. Okay, there is nothing coming. 
So we'll try to trace it from another side. This, it's also not coming, okay? But these cables, these two cables are the ones that were connected together with the loop ins and the loop outs, okay? So if this is not coming for both, we will try this. We'll try this and this. Still we don't have, okay. So we'll go to the next one. Okay. So from here we have 26 volts okay so it means to say there is power supply coming from this side so this will be our looping cable and that is where we are going to start our looping from so you get your device and you make sure you don't miss it okay So you look for your loop in cable. Still see. Okay. Then this is going to be the loop two. Make sure there is this earth here. The earth is this one only. This is for this two. Okay. Okay, this one here. Okay. We know of this as the remote indicator. And for the minus part. just need one separation only to just get the supply and we'll get the minus also so this is going to be the loop two so the loop in so this is going to be the loop out out so we finish the out and this will be <coughs> its ground cable Make sure it's being fixed properly. <laughs> okay, so we'll be left with the remote indicators. Okay, the remote indicator it is showing here the minus. So let's do justice and put the minus here. In case we connect wrongly, it will just show, then we can just interchange it. But the main one is the supply of the in. Okay, so with this, just get it dressed after. Don't worry, so we can close it nicely. The remote indicator needs a supply okay so we we'll just get it near to the loop in okay so 
So then after, so we just test if our device is working properly. So you see it's working it's working nicely with the LED that is here shows it's working okay and post all right so the system after connection you're gonna get something like this so I'll just make a quick recap the in cable that is coming it's going to come here into the loop in here okay then the one that is going the outgoing cable is going to go the loop out the l1 out then all the two cables that are going in and out is going to come to the l2 okay so we connect that one here then the remote indicator we need to get one for power supply so we're going to give it to the l1 we can put either here or here okay but i chose to put it here okay so now it's here then here is the R minus so I kept the remote indicators minus here now you can hear some beep sound okay so I will show you the panel how the panel is then I will just immediately I put the device the sound needs to stop okay So basically this is how it's gonna be and straight from here this is the remote indicator okay it has also been connected you can see clearly that the remote indicator is also simplex and the device that was also here was simplex basically where we are is just like a trench okay it's just below ground level it's just a trench Okay, you can see from here that is why we are finding some difficulties but now after we finish we'll just put the head and check what's gonna happen okay okay so we're going to fix the head okay so immediately you fix the sound that is beeping there is going to stop so it's meant to say the system is normal now okay so now you see it's blinking okay so it means it's working properly and here is the remote indicator nothing has happened to it so to see if it's working properly we are going to activate smoke okay so we will just activate smoke and see what happens so this is the smoke spray We'll just try so you can see it's lights on and the remote indicator is on okay so the bell on through it's working okay so we can make silence then we are going to reset okay so immediately we reset it goes back to normal state but in case there are residue smoke inside it can turn on again so it's better to open than just clean it up okay but now it's good and everything is okay it's just in good working condition oh you see I thought, okay We need to open this and just clean it up, okay?